Low, by Charles Hoyfort, Part 3, Chapter 28K. Cold-blooded scientists, as we hear them called, and their ideal of accuracy, they are more like a lot of spoiled brats, willfully determined to have their own way. In Cosmos, New Series Volume 69, page 422, were reported meteoric phenomena before the destructive earthquake in Calabria, Italy, September 8, 1905. It was said, or it was announced, that Professor Gomenoni was investigating. It would have been a smash to conventional science if Professor Gomenoni had confirmed these reports. We know what to expect. According to the account in Cosmos, first came a fall of meteors, and then, three quarters of an hour later, to this same place upon this probably stationary Earth, came a great meteor. It exploded, and in the ground was a shock by which 4,600 buildings were destroyed, and 4,000 persons were killed. A volume of sound from crashing walls, in billows of roars from falling roofs, sailed like a ship in a storm. When it sank, lamentations leapt from it. Because of underlying oneness, the sounds of a catastrophe are renderable in the terms of any other field of phenomena. Structural principles are the same, either in phonetic or biologic anatomy. A woe, or an insect, or a centipede is a series of segments. Or the wreck of a city was a cemetery. Convulsed into animation, it was resurrection day, as not conceived of by religionists. Concatenations of sounds arose from burials. Spinal columns of groans were exhuming from ruination. Articulations of sobs clung to them. A shout that was jointed with was reached out from a hole. A church, which for centuries had been the den of a parasite, sank to a heap. It was a moor that engulfed a congregation. From it came the chant of the litany that was a tapworm emerging from a ruptured stomach. Choruses broke into moons that were rows of weeping willows. A prayer crossed a field of murmurs, and was gored by a blasphemy. Tellers of beads told ladders, up which ran profanities. Then came submergence again, in the chorus. In earthquake lands, it is the belief of the people that there is a godness that, at times of catastrophe, directs them to flock to churches. My own theology is in agreement. It is by such concentrations that the elimination of surplus usages is facilitated. But, if Virgin Marys were replaced by images of Mrs. Sangster, there would be no such useful murders. It is said, in the Bulletin de la Société Astronomique de France, October, 1905, that luminous phenomena had preceded this catastrophe in Calabria. Observations upon appearances in the sky were gathered by Professor Alfoni, and were recorded by him in the Revista de Fisca. But it was Professor Gamanoni's decision upon reported phenomena in the sky that was awaited by the scientific world. From time to time, in scientific periodicals, there was something to the effect that he was investigating. 